Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at hard mode Titan. Uh, this is a, it's a pretty difficult fight and there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube, but for the most part they're just a video of the entire fight with some explanatory voiceovers. Uh, we're going to go with the Cliff's Notes version here today. Now there's either three or five phases to this fight, depending on who you ask, and it's a matter of how it's broken up. Uh, we're going to go with the five phase version because it's a little bit easier to understand. Titan's first ability is called Landslide. Uh, he telegraphs it, uh, it's, it's a really long, skinny line, and he'll aim it towards a random player. It will never target the tank. Uh, a couple of seconds later, he slams his fist down, it does moderate damage, and it knocks back anyone caught in the area. The knockback is the real danger of the ability, because it's quite easy to be knocked out of the arena, which causes instant death, and you can't be resurrected. Titan's second ability is called Tumult. Uh, he stomps the ground, doing unavoidable AoE damage to the entire party. Uh, healer's going to need to use AoE heals on this, and everyone else is going to need to make sure they're in range of the healers they get hit by those. It's not too bad at first, but as the fight progresses, it gets much worse. Phase 1 ends with Geo Crush. Titan jumps into the air, and everyone should respond by running to the tank. Uh, avoid the red ring around the outside, because when Titan comes down, he does unavoidable AoE damage to everyone and destroys the outer edge of the arena. Um, anyone standing there will die, and healers should precast AoE heals to handle the damage. The only new ability in Phase 2 is called Weight of the Land, also referred to as Plumes. Uh, he will channel and three round areas appear beneath the feet of three random players. A couple of seconds later they erupt for massive damage. Uh, they can overlap and the damage is cumulative, so if you're standing over two of them, you're going to die. Phase 2 ends once again with Geo Crush. This functions exactly the same as the last one, except that the damage is going to be slightly higher since everyone is forced to be closer to the center due to the smaller arena. Healers definitely want to precast AoE heals for this. Phase 3 introduces Bomb Boulders. This is a pretty simple ability, but it trips up a lot of people. He'll punch the floor, and a pattern of bombs will drop onto the arena. They come in two different patterns during this phase. Now, the first pattern is a circle that around the outside of the arena, followed by one in the center. When this begins, everyone needs to run to the center and hug the bomb there, and then when the first bomb around the edge explodes, everyone runs into the vacant space left by it. The second pattern is an X that crosses the entire arena. Everyone needs to immediately run to one of the four edges of the map and uh, wait until all the bombs have exploded. There's large, empty spaces there. After using bomb boulders, Titan will always use a landslide, so make sure you're aware of this so it doesn't trip you up. The second new ability in Phase 3 is called Granite Jail. Titan will telegraph this with a yellow mark beneath someone's feet. They need to run to the center of the arena. Uh, they'll be encased in stone, DPS need to focus this down to destroy it, and then healers need to cure the debuff that's left on the afflicted player. Phase 3 ends once again with Geo Crush. Uh, it's the same as before. Everyone needs to stack on the tank, except this time the damage is going to be incredibly severe because everyone is much closer to the center this time. Uh, healers are probably going to need two, maybe even three AoE heals to get everyone up after this. Phase 4 is called the Heart Phase. In this phase, Titan's heart is exposed and DPS need to kill it extremely quickly. You get 60 seconds, and if it's not dead by then, he will destroy your group. He doesn't use any new abilities during this phase, but he will use Granite Jail twice. The first time, break it quickly. The second time, ignore it. No matter who's inside, you'll lose more DPS for killing it. Use your limit break if you need to. When the heart is destroyed, he will be staggered for a second, then jump into the air. When he comes down, he'll cast Earth Fury. Everyone needs to destroy the jail before this happens, and healers need to precast AoE heals. It does massive damage to everybody. Uh, it's incredibly important to top up your tank during this time. The only new ability in Phase 5 is called Mountain Buster. It does incredible damage to the tank. The tank absolutely needs to be topped off before this lands. This is especially true if you're using a warrior for a tank, as they will take significantly more damage than a paladin. He uses this when the fight start, when the phase starts, and after every single landslide, so it's very easy to tell when it's coming. A few abilities work differently in Phase 5, and the first is Tumult. Rather than just one or two stomps, he'll stomp many times in succession, and by the end of the fight, this will be enough to kill your entire group twice over. Healers must precast AoE heals for this. It will always immediately follow a Mountain Buster, and it's always the Mountain Buster that's not preceded by bombs, so it's very easy to tell when this is coming. The second major change in Phase 5 is with Bomb Boulders. He'll drop a new pattern of these consisting of three lines, one in the center, then one on one side, then one on the other side. 
When the ones in the center drops, run to the center, and then when you see which side drops first, run to the opposite side. After the center bombs explode, run back to the center to avoid the rest. He'll alternate between this and his other two patterns, but the other major change is that he'll always use a landslide during the boulders, not waiting until after. So make sure that you're not positioning yourself such that you'll have to run into the, bom the bombs or the landslide to avoid one or the other. The last major change in Phase 5 is with the weight of the land. Instead of targeting three players, he now targets five, which makes it extremely important to watch your positioning. If you're standing near other players, it's quite likely that somebody will not be able to get out in time. You cannot afford to waste your healer's mana during this phase with bad positioning, so make sure you are not getting hit by this. And that is the entire Titan hard mode fight in a nutshell. Good luck!